The Thin Red Line came out in 1998. It's the 20 year anniversary. So I figure why not review Terrence Malick's 1998 film. This is, I'll just read it. It's a 1998 film with this visionary adaptation of James Jones' 1962 novel about the World War II battle for Guadalcanal. It's a big budget, spectacular amounts of epic and big budget film that is also artsy. Wow. This is clearly 1998 and not the 2010s. Guys, Thin Red Line is, again, you just, I just read the premise, but it's a film with a huge cast. You have Adrian Brody, you have Sean Penn, Nick Nolte, George Clooney, uh, the guy from The Passion of Christ, Jim, I always get his last name uh, mispronounced, so I'm not even going to bother. It's just, it's a big cast, and it's a big epic. It's a 170-minute film, and I absolutely love this film like there's a reason why i own it on criterion collection this is the type of film that it's an experience you watch it to feel you don't watch it to get spoon-fed information you as an audience member are figuring things out as the characters are like when the film opens up it's like oh wow these are jaw-dropping beautiful shots but you're just kind of also taken in the environment. And the first 30 minutes is a lot of that. It's also a lot of just pondering what these two guys are doing in this encampment with all these, you know, natives. And it's great because after the first 30 minutes, when you realize what Terrence Malick is trying to say about how peaceful it is, and then when you realize where they're at and where in particular they're at in World War II, it is incredible but just showing the peacefulness before you know the calm before the storm so to speak i love it and it also is a great contrast to same prior ryan because thin red line came out in 1998 the same year that same prior ryan won five oscars including best director for spielberg that was clearly the more accessible film for mainstream audiences whilst thin red line for pretentious people such as myself this is the film that we go to this is personally i'll be honest my favorite war film i think it really does a great job of making you feel as though you are in these people's shoes and just experiencing everything wanting to just get away from everyone but at the same time also needing to do your duty while still taking in the beautiful environment that was you know obviously ensued in this film um the cinematography is not just jaw dropping. It's some of the best I've ever seen. And I am not kidding when I say that. It is like the original Revenant. It is outstanding. The perfect shots, the lighting, the color grading. Actually, no, I lie about the color grading. There was no color grading um, because in 1998, they didn't have color grading. But you just feel as though they, there was some tinkering because, truth be told, it just looks so perfect and so modern looking. And it's incredible because 20 years later, it hasn't aged at all. And that's the best kind of films. The action scenes are also very visceral. I don't even want to call them action scenes because although they are intense, I wouldn't say they're like blockbuster action where it just makes you feel like, oh, wow, like that's, that's great. It's like, no, it makes you feel very emotional with how raw the scenes are going, particularly the village scene. The village scene with the track Journey to the Line by Hans Zimmer is one of my all-time favorite scenes. It is just visceral with showing both sides during that particular village scene. It is incredible and easily the best scene in the movie to me personally. Um, it's well acted. It has a lot of time to develop these characters, even though it is a huge cast and obviously not everyone can get fleshed out, but these characters you still care about because obviously they feel as though like you and me personally, and it gives you people to latch on to. You know, this is a film that very clearly is more focused on just World War II as a whole and not just solely a couple people to fully flesh out, which I can appreciate. And honestly, Thin Red Line for me, there are no negatives other than I would say some people might gripe with the last, I say half hour where it's like, oh, it's not over yet, but when you realize the last 15 minutes with what happens, it's like, oh, uh, okay, that makes sense as to why there was an additional 30 minutes. But nonetheless, for me personally, The Thin Red Line is a masterpiece. It is the best film of 1998. Um, and I will be giving The Thin Red Line a five out of five star rating. This bad boy, five out of five stars. Yes, I said it, which gets the hot sauce rating of Ghost Pepper. Which, for those who don't know, I rarely give this out because this is for five and five star movies. And that doesn't happen too often. But, guys, The Thin Red Line. Did you see it? 
what did you think of it? Uh, is it the masterpiece that I'm toting it as? Or is it just a film that, you know, you didn't care for and you were more towards St. Pry Ryan? I personally think St. Pry Ryan, I respect it, but it's not even close to being as great as Thin Red Line. But again, that's just my viewpoint. But again, comment section down below. Also, don't forget the subscription, notification bell. And if you want to shoot me a message or anything, uh, it'll be super easy, barely inconvenient. And I'll, uh,